Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro today and in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience from this is the 9th July 2019 build and this is the like CF based ROM on the pixel experience and let me show you the about section quickly if you go into the about and if you go into Android version here as you can see the Android version shows as Android 9 Pi of course let me just go back and here the security patch is latest July 5th and here is the stock kernel version which is the pixel experience plus kernel and here you can see the build number also if you go back and if you go into system we have the system updater over here so that you can check for updates from here and if you enable the developer options from the about phone by tapping on the build number seven times you can also like go to the like developer options enable the advanced reboot option so this is really really useful well my power button is kind of broken as you can see if i go like this and if i tap on restart it will show me the options to directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or whatever i like let me just go back and over here yes we do still have customizations and if you go into the buttons we have the long press power button toggle torch then we have the volume button customization then also we have the invert layout option so that you can invert the navigation bar layout and you can go into the status bar to have the status bar customizations and here we have the disable on lock screen you can disable the status bar on lock screen simply and we have the quick pull down right or left choosing option and if you go into system over here the system icons you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons and you can also enable 4g icon instead of lte but there is no volte icon up there so that is a kind of bummer but yeah we have the like network traffic indicator to over here but sometimes i would say it kind of doesn't work i don't know why but it's now working and i use the internet speed meter app over here and we have the gesture option so that we have the swipe to exchange our option and it works fine it does not scroll so that is really great that it is working and inside sound we have the advanced settings and from there we have the this me audio direct from where you can change it to youth edition or something like that and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty great over here in this rom you can also disable the screenshot sound touch vibration and you can also enable this vibrate to indicate call status this is the in-call vibration stuff and of course this is a pixel experience rom so you do not need to flash any kind of micro g apps and over here inside lock screen preference inside security we'll get this automatic face unlock and yes the face unlock does work super fine and again you do not have to flash any kind of separate g apps just make sure if you are on the pi firmware for this like for flashing this rom if you don't know how to flash this rom here is a card for you over there and if i go into the battery well this is how the battery settings looks like you can enable the battery percentage from here as you can see i have the battery percentage over there and the battery life i would say is pretty decent it's not bad as you can see i have used around two hours of screen on time i got over here and i have 78 percent battery left and here is kind of my battery usage i would say the battery life is decent it can get you around six to seven hours of screen on time without any issues even you can get more than that and if you go into the display settings let me just show you we do have the night light option so that you can enable it and the display will go yellowish let me just go back from here we have the adaptive day brightness over here which is the auto brightness and also we have the color profile changing option we have standard reading dynamic and color calibration is there so that you can control the whole screen rgb and you can even control the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen we also have the reading mode which makes the display grayscale let me just go back we have the pocket detection mode and ambient display is there if you really need it and double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the status bar too is working fine and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom and as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed over here is blazing fast i have no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner or the like fingerprint unlock over here it is really really fast and if you're going to device theme we have the device theme changing option to light and dark over here and you can even change it to automatic based on the wallpaper or even time of the day and we have the dark theme style changing option to default or like totally black and we also have the color themes we have red cyan pink teal orange purple etc options for the accent colors and talking about the stock launcher well this is stock pixel launcher do not expect any customizations but of course you can install the other launchers like launcher launcher or the poco launcher if you want to 
that would work fine too and over here to the left we have the google now cards and you can just like do this to get the app drawer just swipe up it will get you to the app drawer and you can't really swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick setting panel you have to pull it from the top over here and we also have heads up disabling option which is the pop-up notification like toggle over here in the quick settings and the hotspot is there too so you can also use the 5 gigahertz band if you want to over here and it works let me just go back the stock camera here is the like miui camera as you can see it works fine no issues whatsoever with the miui camera and you can also install google cameras too as the camera api is pre-enabled in this rom as you can see from this manual camera test the camera api is pre-enabled in this rom so you don't need to worry about installing google cameras over here and here is the end to score of this rom and one issue over here that i faced i would say that there is no call recording option in the like in call ui the default in call ui so that is a bummer but yeah and google pay and stuff everything works flawlessly over here no issues whatsoever it works out of the box any kind of banking apps should be working fine over here and now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open of speeds and the ram management over here So as you can see the app open up speeds are pretty fine and the animation is pretty good too and all the apps stays in memory show no issues whatsoever with the RAM management over here in this ROM. And even gaming performance and stuff is pretty fine you can play HD and high in PUBG so that is how it is. So thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDNTX signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.